Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Critics Hub. Today, we are going to deep dive into, well, the Buddy Daddy's finale. So sit back, relax, and hit subscribe. Uh, before I forget, would you, uh, would you do something else for me? Share this video. Salamat. Let's get on to the nitty gritty of this finale. Face! From the moment, um, Yotaro delivered Kazuri's gear. Pinagsama pa nga nila Kazuki Rei. Kazuri. Oh, the pacing picked up right there. Kasi, halatang halata na, na, na puro barrel ang naman ng, ng, uh, ng, ng, uh, kumbaga, ng, ng strong case na to eh. Pang, pang barrel yung, pang barrel yung design eh. Then, from the time they were they they finally settled things with the organization, Shepard they had to uh, they had to go to Miri's Christmas presentation. Shepard mga kare na kare ng anle yung pagiging uh, foster parents ni Miri. From right there, medyo yan naging heartwarming na and um, went to the um, went to the time progression. Do I have complaints, guys? No. Nope. Absolutely not. If there's anything the PC will tell you, it's this. That's it for body daddies. <laughs> Kung naging fast pacing to from start to finish, wala eh. Masisira yung uh, yung heartwarming latter third of, of the finale. Alright? Kaya, balance yung pacing eh. It was fast when it needed to be and it was slow and slice of life like when it needed to be. Kaya, oh, no complaints. Balance eh. Flow naman. First gear shift. Eh, well, the one I mentioned just a while ago. When Kyotaro delivered Kazuri's gear. For me, it's a no-brainer post. Kasi, eh, ito ba lang signal na sa inyo eh na, well, uh, Kazuki and Ray are not uh, are not into negotiating their uh, their verbal contract with the organization. Nope, they're gonna settle this through violence. <laughs> Final gear ship. Opo, dalawa lang. Was when Ray shot his father first. Kasi nakabunutan eh. For me, it's another no-brainer. Bakit? What? Right there and then, eh, that very moment, Ray. Has finally proven himself to, yeah, to be to be capable of manning up to his own father. In as much as na parilin niya sa balikat ito, just to prove a point, just to uh, just to stress his uh, his intent of leaving the organization, even if he has to kill his own father. That's probably that that gear shift was probably the most serious part of this finale, right there. All right. So these two gears that I saw, guys. Itin. Watch the watch the whole finale, all right? Because you're going to miss out on how uh, on how the finale progressed and how how the anime ended. Okay, don't just rely on gear shifts to um, to determine what what happened in the finale. If you are a true otaku. You gotta, you need to watch the whole episode from start to finish. Plot wise. Hmm. May mga flashback sequences courtesy of Ray, pero hindi. While he was talking to his father with, 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 with a gun pointed at him, um, nagpa, nagpa flashback sa kanya yung mga, yung mga wonderful moments na binabanggit niya mismo sa, sa tatay niya. Uh, he, wa he was, he was, he um, was, called? He's stating his case to his father after the gunshot, of course. Therefore, Malinis ang blood, guys. You can separate the flashback sequences from race, from race talking. It's actually unnecessary. Siguro, TA works since in that. Para lang ma. 
para na mabigyan ng emphasis ang sinasabi ni Ray dito. Right? Especially if you're if you're new to this, if you're totally new to this anime. Kumbaga, pinalit pa lang 'yung nakapanood ninyo. Totally negligible guys 'yung mga mga flashback sequences ni ni Ray dito. Because while he was talking and he himself is in the scene, nag naka-background lang 'yung mga flashback sequences. Kaya uh, technically it's totally negligible. So, very clean plot. A clean a uh, plot uh clean enough for a finale at least at the very least so base flow and plot you know give together for this episode folks wag na kayong umasa na nababalik ang anime na to right based on the final scene yep that's it for body daddies so body daddies finale no brainer folks Thumbs up! Now, final order of business, the thumbnail. It's a no-brainer of a thumbnail, folks! This is the final scene of the anime. And, wow, things turned out really well for um for the three main protags. Okay, Include na si Miri. Because, uh, at this point kasi, 10 years na silang hindi ginagalaw ng organization. Right? Ten years na. So, more or less, mukhang kinalimutan na sila ng organization. Kasi nakapag, nakapagpatayo na sila kaso kay Rey na sarili nilang resto eh. Right? It's called Diner Nest. <clears throat> And uh, siguro on the upper floor of that building, doon ang bahay nila. The, uh, doon, siyempre, doon ang, doon ang kwarto ni Miri. And wow! Okay? They're probably their, uh, their, uh, what's it called this? Their unofficial taste tester when it comes to new dishes, I see Miri mismo. <laughs> Now, right here, Miri is already 14. Kasi 10 years later nga, di ba? Uh, the, the, the kid Miri was only 4. So, wow. Uh, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't see this anime ending any other way except this. And it's really heartwarming, and it's a uh, wow! What a way to end uh, an anime that may not come back anymore. Say, uh, if I know PA works uh, based on uh, based on the previous experience with Apare Granman, no, for Body Daddies, pa hindi na. Well, I'm actually still hoping that Apare Granman would would be given another season. Kasi nabigyan ng bagong goal si Apare dun eh. Pero dito sa Body Daddies, halatang, nope, that's it. Talagang uh, normal na ang pamamuhay ng, ng tatlo. They're, they're, they're actually living as a family now. So, we've, um, we've already issued our final review for Volume 10. And... Don't worry guys, the epilogue is coming up in a few hours after after this one. In the meantime, watch the other reviews on this playlist. Or if you're um if you're patient enough, watch out for volume 11.